Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 93 rated team of the season Ericsson. So if you do enjoy this video, guys, and want to see another team of the season player review on my channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So if you do want to go and pick this card up and yourself, his price range on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is 80,000 to 1.5 million coins. And when he first came out, he actually settled for around the 300,000 coin mark but he's actually risen a lot since then and he's now more around the 450,000 coins mark but what I would do if I was you I wouldn't buy him now I would wait until next week when the foot champions rewards are released on Thursday then his price should probably drop around to 300 to 350,000 coins so as you can see he has a load of specialities such as dribbler playmaker distance shooter crosser free kick specialist uh, clinical finisher and a complete midfielder so now getting into his pros his first pro is long shots this guy is 100% the best long shot taker on the game I managed to score some insane long shots with him this was literally the first thing I did with him two minutes into the first game he gets the ball straight away from the um, halfway line takes a long shot and that goes straight into the top right corner and as well he can do long shots with both his with both his um, weak foot and his strong foot there was literally no difference between both of them thanks to him having the five star weak foot look at that again on his left foot Butland one of the most overpowered goalkeepers this year didn't even try and move and save that it was just an unstoppable shot with his left foot and then his final pro that I could find with the card was his passing this guy's passing is insane he's probably the best on the game I've tried players such as team the C uh, sorry team the uh, Iniesta and team the uh, Modric and their passing is not Nowhere near as good as this guy. He is by far the best passer on the game, by far the best long shot taker on the game, and in my opinion, is the best cam on the game. And he's actually probably one of the best players on the game as well, probably just behind maybe Ronaldo and, and other players like this. And he sort of feels or reminds me of, uh, I think it was FIFA 15 team of the season, De Bruyne's card. So actually, you know, this card was very similar. It had five star weak, but it had four star skill moves. It had, you know, um, decent physical. Um, you know, really high dribbling, really high passing, and really high shooting. So, yeah, it really reminds me of that card. And as well, guys, if you do want me to try and review Team of the Season De Bruyne, his 95 rate card, um, do leave it in the comments section below. And if there's any other Team of the Season players from the Premier League who you also want me to review, don't forget to leave it in the comments section below. So, as you can see here, doing some really nice skills there, do a nice Berber spin, carry on running, do a nice roulette, and then look at this for an insane long shot in off the crossbar, an unstoppable shot in the 87th minute to make it 1-1. And this guy is honestly insane. He'd be like perfect for foot champions. I'm actually think I'm going to make a BPL team for this um, weekend's foot champions. And this is honestly one of the best goals I've scored this year. Look at that edge of the box. Shields using his 83 physical. And there's a really nice scissor kick. Lobbing, um, I think that was a rated Schmeichel. Um, you know, an insane goal there. And then this goal here, we get it with Kante there. Do some really nice shielding from the corner. Do um, some off-ball dribbling to the fake ball roll to a nice draw back. And look at that. That is just honestly an insane shot. I honestly think he's probably the only player on the whole game who could do that. Look at that. Edge of the box, across goal, in off the post. That is just a perfect long shot. So again, we get the ball here. Play it into Kante. Kante to De Bruyne. Does a nice drag back to a Blanco hop. And then with that five-star weak foot, does a really nice volley across goal. Beat into Stegen in net. So as you can see, guys, this guy is honestly just one of the best cards in the game. And in my opinion, my favorite card I've used this year. So as you can see, just a quick overview. His value for money is only three-star at the moment, just because, you know, his price will drop eventually. Overall rating is five-star. He has no cons, and his pros are long shot, passing, and weak foot. So anyway, guys, this has been the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.